Hi, I'm Miles Prodder, and this series is called Living Your Strengths. And today I'm going to talk about how you can use your strengths to compensate for areas of weakness. Let me give you an example. I met a client the other day. He's a true visionary. And I remember years ago when he started his first hospitality business, people were so enrolled and engaged in what he was doing. You know, he, it wasn't just about food and coffee. It was about bringing disadvantaged young people on board, mentoring them, giving them a leg up into the industry. And, and so many people were inspired by what the guy was doing. And, you know, and now he's got a big operation. He's delivering his signature product all over town to venues and cafes everywhere. And he's got this massive social media following. And he's just, he's a real star, right? He's a celebrity kind of in the, in the area, in the business. But, huh, he's also worn out. Like so many visionary entrepreneurs, he gets people excited, but now realizes that he doesn't have the systems and controls to run the business. He doesn't really know where he's at. So neither he nor his business partner have focused on this because their strengths are all in the vision and the growth, right? And so what do they do? Do they try and figure this out and grind it out and, oh, you know, we got to design a system ourselves? No way. So I remember back to when I first ran a rapidly growing business and I loved the vision and value stuff, you know? Because my strength is relationship. And, and so our, our, our staff, we had this amazing community and we did great work and our clients loved us. And I was just flying so high, you know, swinging out with my relationships. But we also did not have adequate systems and controls to run the business. And our U.S. head office couldn't help us either because they had never experienced a subsidiary with such rapid growth before. And then someone pointed out to me, really fortunately, that one of my top strengths is that I love to learn. So even though I don't really have much interest in systems, processes, controls, I love to learn for its own sake. And I thought, well, I could at least learn enough about this stuff so I could tell someone what I need to run the business. Well, you know, then I, and, and then I started remembering a lot of what I'd learned years before as an investment banker where good processes and systems are essential to manage risk. So fortunately, one of my staff had a passion for systems, controls, design, and implementation. And, and you know, we, we d designed something between us that served the business incredibly well for years. And I enjoyed the whole thing because I, I just loved learning new things and I used my relationship strengths to encourage my staff to adopt the new system and use it and implement it so that we could, you know, really uh, get the right information in there. And I could rely on my partner who loved the, she had the discipline strengths and the focus strengths to implement things, to design things and to manage it over time and to kind of, you know, be, be the, 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 bad, the bad cop, you know, sometimes. It was just a great partnership. Now, this will be different for everyone, but I hope you get the idea. There's no point flogging away at your weaknesses. Use your strengths and the strengths of others instead to overcome them, to get around them. I hope this has been useful. If you want to talk about how you can overcome your weaknesses with your strengths, please give me a ring. And until next time, be strong.